of the suicide closet. <laughs> Quite a few of you raised your hands actually in So one of the one of the barriers that I kind of was dealing with helping them with their with their marketing strategy is the fact that their website is considered adult. It is not porn. I get very offensive. It is not porn, but it is an adult site, and um, you know we had some issues as far as. Um, taking our social outreach, our Twitter and our YouTube and our MySpace and our Facebook, and kind of bringing that audience back to their main site. Because we have mixed ages and you know, we have to be careful. Um, beyond that, um, I also kind of felt like because this, the main website is membership based, I wanted to have a place where people could come and read content that was from the main site but also unique. And so I thought, let me make a blog, and people can learn more about the Suicide Girls brand because it really is about more than naked, tattooed, hot chicks. Um, and people, I wanted people to see that. So this panel is about how to optimize WordPress blog for social media and bringing your traffic back. If you are doing a WordPress blog as not your main site, then it should aesthetically kind of look like an extension of your main site. Um, you want to have visible social icons, links back to the site in as many ways as you can, links back to your main site. Um, you should show at least your latest tweet, um, if you have a video blog, and then some other things that you've got is echo real-time commenting, the Wibia toolbar, which got touched on in the last and social sharing. So this is what the blog looks like. Um, I did the design, I did the concept, I did pretty much everything I'm pretty proud of it. Um, so you see, I think right now one of the biggest trends in just design in general is the big oversized header. It's just so much more appealing to the eye. Um, and then I also have like all of these are clickable and I'll show you the actual site live after I've gotten through this. But they each will, this links back to the main Suicide Girls site. I believe this one links to the modeling page. This links to a download. Um, so you kind of want what the people see when they first come to the page to just be about your brand. I don't like it, and a lot of people, most, most people do this. I don't want to see any ads when I land on the page. I, I, I personally will leave unless I'm there for a reason. What is Suicide Girls? Suicide Girls, um, it is an online community. Um, it is modern pinup, so the girls are eventually naked in the photo sets. Um, but but so that was one of the things though, like I wanted to make the blog a safe for work portal so that people who want to interact with the brand who maybe don't have a membership yet can start engaging with the brand on the blog. Um, and if they like us here, um, there's a bajillion ways on the site that they will be sent back to the main site, um, only really if they want to. And um, they'll subscribe or buy a movie or, you know, be a fan. So, um, so, okay. Um, so one of the things that um, we do right there in the header that I showed you underneath, and here is to incorporate our promotions. Um, the theme that we're using, which I got from Theme Forest, I believe, it's, it was a equity something, I don't remember, to be honest. But um, it was very reasonable, I think it was like $45 or something. And then I skinned it out with their branding, their background. And then this we made, um, this is what happens if you click here, you can also click here and here. But you should incorporate any promotions in a visible place. I have a question for you. How can we tell it's a promotion? I mean, I've seen from the front doors, we don't find stockings and Um But these we, other things. Let me bring up the actual slave. one of them is 
actually linking to something okay. relevant. Like this links to the main site's video page. This one will take you to um, this is modeling. These, the, the way it works, their, their, their general concept is that the, the girls that are the models, it's not like Playboy, like you hire models and they come and you give them like, I don't know how much Playboy models get paid, but the way that it works with the suicide girls is that the members actually choose the girls. And so the girls are submitting themselves. They do a photo set on their own, and they submit it to the site, and they become a hopeful. Hopefuls get a free membership for a year. Um, and so it really is a social network, basically, that people are paying to use. And the members can upload their own images, their own videos, um, keep a blog on the site, and interact with each other in a million different ways. There's chat and forums and all that stuff on the inside of the site. So the girls submit their photo shoots and the members vote on the sets and the sets that become, you know, get enough votes become suicide girls and the girls get paid and they get their set gets featured and then they're a suicide girl. And the suicide girls is actually, what I really like about them, and I tell you because I'm a woman and there's, I'm happy to see there's a lot of women in the room. Um, you know, my, I really wanted to work with a brand. I actually went after them um, for a while to work with them. Um, and the reason why is because I really respect what they're doing. Um, I think, just as a side, that it's, it, there's nothing wrong with showing women as sexy, we are sexy. I think what is wrong is showing one type of woman as sexy, and I think that's where a lot of the problems happen, and that's how a lot of women grow up to have bad self-esteem, so they don't look like this 1% of the population. When real women come in all different shapes and sizes, some have tattoos, some have shaved heads, and the Suicide Girls are all about redefining beauty, which is a tagline, and I, I like being a part of something that shows that. And they also get interviews on their main site with everyone from Lady Gaga to Michael Moore to, uh, I mean, everyone. Every celebrity you can think of has pretty much been interviewed by them. So, that being said, okay, Tattoo Tuesday is one of the promotions that we do on Twitter, MySpace, and Tumblr. And before we had the WordPress blog, um, I didn't really have a plan for things like this. Because again, since the site was membership, where am I going to send everyone to? So, um, Tattoo Tuesday is a promotion that we do where on Twitter they tweet us a picture of their tattoos, because tattoos are a huge part of the brand, and they use the hashtag Tattoo Tuesday, and we pick our favorite and they get a free three month membership. We also do it on Tumblr and MySpace. And then the way that I <clears throat> pull it back to the blog is every Friday when we announce the winners, I do a blog post. And in the blog post I show, and I'll show you that in a little. Um, in the blog post I do the Tattoo Tuesday Roundup. And we show the winner from each place. And on the like, group you'll see just the gist of what the Tattoo Tuesday is. And it says from Twitter. Where it says Twitter there is actually a link to our Twitter. But if you click on the picture, it takes you to the winner. And, it, and we show the same for Tumblr and MySpace as well. Sharing. And this is, this is my favorite. Um, we use the Socialize plugin for social sharing. Um, to be honest, it was not my first choice. Um, the reason why um, I liked the Socialize plugin as a second choice was because I've read articles that state that when people can see how many retweets, how many shares, how many whatever, they're more likely to share it themselves. I don't understand why. That's more of a psychology thing, but it's true. My first pick was um, Sexy Bookmarks, which is what I use on all of my other sites. Um, on my personal site, on my fashion site, on my subculture site, I use sexy bookmarks. It's just cuter. I can show it to you after I get through the keynote. But um, what I don't like about Socialize is that I use Bitly. Um, do we all know what Bitly is? Well, tell us. Okay, Bitly, Bitly is um, it's, it's a couple things. One is it shortens your links. Because when you're tweeting, you don't need this like 8,000 character link that's not going to fit, taking up all your space. Um, and the other thing that I like about Bitly versus other social sharing link shortening tools is that um, Bitly also lets you track how many times this link has been clicked on, um, analytics basically on your links. And so that's very useful from a marketing perspective. It just lets me know, you know, I can do a Tattoo Tuesday tweet in three different ways and find out which one got the most clicks and try to analyze this because of the time of day, because of the way I worded the tweet. 
and just, you know, you want to really get as many metrics as you can. So anything that offers you analytics, you should try to use. Um, and Sexy Bookmarks lets you incorporate your Bitly. Bitly will give you an API. You can plug in your API and your username, and it's that simple. And then when people tweet from your blog, the Bitly link is what will go out so that you're able to track their links as well. So how come your Facebook is like stronger than way you can use um, It's actually, you, you find that it's usually the opposite? Yeah, it's usually the opposite. what we're looking at. I don't understand woman market. I mean, well, this is a screenshot from like one blog post, um, but it actually fluctuates. But we do get significantly more traffic from Facebook than Twitter, and I'll tell you why. Um, we've got seven hundred thousand people plus following our Facebook, and we've got forty-five thousand people or so following our Twitter. So that's that's why that is. It's, it's really the ratio more than. I mean, if we had seven hundred thousand people following our Twitter, I'm sure that number would be much different. And it also depends on the post as well. Um, and then on MySpace, believe it or not, we actually have 1.75 million people following us on MySpace, and everybody wants to say how dead that MySpace is. And yet when I got the gig doing their marketing, I can't, can't ignore 1.75 million people. You can't pretend that's not there. You can't go, I'm not gonna engage with them since MySpace, and that's so five years ago. You can't do that. So um, it's, it's unfortunate that socialized doesn't have a handsome MySpace one as well. Another reason that I like to use sexy bookmarks. In fact, let me just show you that now so you guys can see why I like sexy bookmarks so much, besides the fact that it's called sexy bookmarks. This is a shameless self promotion. This is my personal website. I'm not on anymore, obviously. Comment count, and that just makes you look good. That's just the truth. 
Um, beyond that, on the main page of the site, on the front page, when you scroll down just a little bit beyond the branding, you'll see we have this latest buzz. And in real time, it's going to show you where things are being shared, what comments are being left on the site without you having to reload, reload your page. So if somebody's reading a blog post, and you know, and then they see over there a little, it'll, you know, a new thing will pop up, and maybe it's a comment that interests them, or maybe they're looking at the main page and they're like, you know, just browsing around, and they don't know which post they want to go to. They might see something there that catches their eye. Um, I also like the fact that. If you comment with Echo as well, and I'll show you on the site. Is that pretty easy to install? Echo is very easy to install. Echo is not a free service. You do get a free 30-day trial. Um, but it's, it's reasonable and it's based on the traffic. So it's to scale in that respect. Um, but I mean, if, so if you're blogging as a hobby, you might not want to do this. But if you're taking your blog seriously, if it's for a brand, if it's, you know, I take, I have a fashion website that I've had since 2007. I used to take much more seriously than I do now because I have time, unfortunately. But if you're trying to actually make money off the site or build a brand with the site or use the site to get, it depends on your goal. But if it's a hobby site, you might not need it. Have you compared it to Discus? I do not care for Discus very much, and I'll tell you why. Um, you should be able to own your content. Okay? You should be able to take that content with you no matter where you go or what you do. And I'm all about anything that lets you do that, and I am very anti-Facebook closed. I'm very anti anything that is closed. Um, I just don't like it as far as internet ethics go. Okay? Well, it tends to be, it tends to be, isn't that a little different? Isn't it tends to be like actually two people having a the debate about a certain topic? Because I've heard it, but I'm not intensely. Okay. okay. Right, but isn't it it's isn't it commenting? It's specifically yeah. commenting? I'm not sure, but I will tell you that there is nothing else like Echo, for sure. Um, I'll show you. Okay, so here's what it looks like when you're logged in. I can say that the JS commenting on Joomla is exactly right. I've never used Joomla. Yeah, I've never used Joomla, and I, I have used Echo on WordPress, and I have had no problems with it. Yes? You still own your comments. In other words, if you have discuss and you get rid of discuss, your comments are gone. Okay, and that's that. Yeah. That's that. So if you plug in Echo and you decide I don't want to use Echo anymore, and you take Echo off, your comments have remained, and they'll still be right there in your blog as just normal WordPress comments, and anything you do from there is is standard. So what I like about this is right here it says share, uh, share this page. I can also say share with my Twitter followers. And then I can say blah, blah, blah. And then if I post that, um, what's going to happen is it's going to share this comment not only on the site here in the comments, but it's also going to send a tweet to, from my Twitter stream from me that says blah, 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 and a link back to this post. That will help you with viral spreading of your content like you don't believe. Are, are, are you finding that your users are actually using that? They're some of them do, and some of them don't. To get it you, you can um, auto set it to do that, but I don't like that because right. I think that's spammy. And so you want to make sure that, like, you want to offer people the options to share things. You don't want to force them to share links. I don't like it when something tweets from my account without making it ridiculously, I want a pop-up window, and I want to have to check three things in order for you to send something to my account. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, so I've chosen not to make it auto-tweet for them, but to give the users the option. And they also have the option to share it in other places as well. This is Echo? Sorry? Is that Echo? This is, this is Echo. And then if we scroll down, you'll see you can also add images to your comments. Um, they offer that, but um, yeah, they offer that, but the reason why we don't have that on there yet is because um, the co founder has to do that. And actually, I sort of set it up like three months ago. So that's why that's not up yet. Um, what about but Facebook Live secret text? The Facebook Live is. We're gonna, I'll, I'll get into the Wibia in a minute, but the Facebook like is actually, it's not showing up. 
but we have that Libya school bar on the bottom as well, and that's where we keep the Facebook like. And that's that will show up by every meeting. Um, so that's the Echo stuff. Um, so anything else that
Um, this is our latest smoothie, and where you can download it. I'm sorry, what is that? Smoothie? Movie. <laughs> <laughs> so this just takes you to a page about our latest movie and we're making down with it, huh? What? Can you play it? Well, sure. <laughs> it's not the whole movie, this is a teaser, obviously. But Suicide Girls Aside is a reality horror film and it has limited theater release and is available for download and on DVD. These are all suicide girls. The premise is, yeah, the premise is that um, there was a group of models and they were told that we were doing a calendar shoot. <coughs> and we brought them out to the nowhere, but really what they did not know is it was not a calendar shoot. We were spooking them and one by one, girls started going missing. And they have a confessional and, you know, they take their tops off. It's fabulous. <laughs> 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 Not just, not just 
her page, but also the same site you're also going to do to her. And then um, this is also, this, this theme had a gallery built in, so if you click on the header under T's, you get a gallery, and the gallery will open up to an expanded image also if you want to. And it shows the latest seven images, so we'll get to see the latest week of the I'm sorry? That was built into the theme, so I'm not sure. Um, London Creative. Just came. It's called London Creative, and it came from the forest, right? It's the city forest is the same one that has Active Den, and it was like that whole family of sites. So that's where it came from. And I'm sorry. Yeah. And then featured posts and all the blog posts in the category. And then just to go to the blog page really quick. So how many employees actually work for this company? Um, I, I don't know. Who's I mean, like 10 or is it like 100? It's more than 10 and less than 100. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not an employee. I work as a consultant. So, um, you know, I, I go into the office and I know who I, who I see there all the time, but I'm not sure. Um, I mean, I think I've seen it posted in, in articles about them that they have about 50 employees. I know they have... Because um, there's a lot of uh, pictures involved. Well, I mean, there's there's actually a suicide goal in every country, including Antarctica. Um, so when we say we're redefining beauty, we show all kinds of women we really are. And there's photographers all over the country as well. Um, and then just because I really want you guys to see it. So their business model is they make money off the book. I'm logged in. Does it, should I log out? Like, will somebody see me if you see booby? I so this is this is their interview page on their main site, just so you can get an idea of the types of interviews we get. These are the latest ones. Um, filter. We've got two interviews for Machete. Lots of kick-ass interviews. We got a few. Stephen Adler's uh, interview from the African Scott Pilgrim. Lottery tickets, 12. We've also had Marilyn Manson, um, Lady Gaga, Michael Moore, Kathy Griffin. I mean, it's just fun to see who's up every day. Chuck Blanick, who's actually my favorite fiction writer. And the term Suicide Girls actually came from um, a, a, a line in one of Chuck Blanick's novels where he said, Boo, Suicide Girls, something like that. <laughs> so you mentioned that they don't pay bloggers, they don't pay bloggers. They're not paying bloggers right now. The interviews, the people who read the interviews do get paid, um, and we pay for the interviews. Um, I mean, realistically, if you want to get that kind of content, that's not going to happen just because you know someone or call someone. Like, you can't get Lady Gaga just because you call it. You know? So, even if your best friend is her agent, you still can't get Lady Gaga. So, you have to pay, mm -hmm. and there's routes to take, and I, I don't know specifically how they work that out because that's not my end, but they do. Um, and it also doesn't hurt that they've been around for 10 years and their brand, I mean, literally, People are as into their brand. I mean, people get the Suicide Girls logo tattooed on them. They get a lifetime membership. We've got a whole gallery of people who have done it. Mm -hmm. So it really is, it, and, and if you were to go into the main site and really interact with the community, people are very, very, it, it, I like to say that they have accomplished what Facebook and MySpace never have because they did. People pay to join the That's social awesome. network. They upload their, um, their images, their videos, and they have a full profile, and the profile questions are, that are standard are more fun. What are you into politically? You know, are you straight edge? Do you smoke pot? Like what? What? It's 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 real. And just from from my own perspective, and um, you know what my platform is with with new media marketing is being authentic and being transparent and keeping it real and not treating your readers like they're stupid unless you want stupid readers. And your readers are not stupid. And something that's been a bit of a, of, of a you know trial and error of experimentation with this blog is that because we do have the bloggers writing for free, you know, you can't be like, oh, you know, like I send a friendly reminder if you don't get a post in on time, but that's all you can do. You can't be like, oh, you're fired. Like, they don't care, they're not paying. They care because they want exposure. I mean, the blog in its first month got more than 65,000. I'm very proud of that. Um, for a first month, I think that's kind of epic. So. What do they blog about? Like, do you do editorial management? Um, well, to, to a degree, but, but there's, there isn't much we won't let them talk about. Um, we've got one contributor who works, um, she's in college, she's actually getting her master's degree, and she works in a sex store. Like, 
spend more. She did a blog post on how to pick sex toys that don't make you itch. I mean, that's how she called it. But, you know, um, and then we do a lot of, uh, we have one guy who does a film stream, and he does film reviews. I'm actually going to show you who my favorite blogger is. I'll show you one of her posts. Um, her name is Tara. And she's a win. I mean, she is a find. You will not find a blogger like her all the time. So she does a thing called Doing It With Tara, and it's all DIY craft posts. And they're just well done and fun and informative, and she gets the brand, so she puts on a little negligee and does crafts. And, um, <laughs> but she words her posts really well. I mean, she's a really good blogger. Like, I really kind of want to ask her to contribute on that stuff too, but it's bad. I want her to write for like 10 different projects. It's great. Um, but, you know, this is, there's a little bit of everything, music, entertainment. Um, one of the Suicide Girls, Bob Suicide, does a post um, called uh, The Geek's Guide to Getting Down, and it's kind of like dating tips for geeky guys. But it's done very tongue-in-cheek, and it's clever and funny. Um, one of the writers from the main site is also contributing to the blog. His name is Jay Hathaway. He's done a lot of our interviews and some Newswire posts. <coughs> and um, he did an interesting, his last one was uh, it was an, an ad in Women's Day um, by Summer Sea. Oh, well. uh, Summer Sea, feminine wash. Okay, <laughs> uh, but it wasn't for the wash, but okay. And um, but but it was actually a really expensive ad where the ad was um, the Page magazine was made to look like it was a you know woman. She's in a business too, and it's tips how to get a promotion at work. And I'm like just trying to I'm trying to connect the dots how like Summer Sea connects to that, right? Because really, like, if we're having an interview and you're close enough to me, to, then there's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay? I mean, really and, 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 and if you're not close enough to me and you're smelling something, there's a problem. So I just didn't get it, really. Um, it was actually kind of defensive because the things that they were saying in this in this ad were, you know, one of the things that you should make sure as a woman trying to get a promotion is that you take care of your hygiene and it's like, well, duh, number one, but that's just in life, not your job, and that's really, I, I found it to be offensive. And they actually had a bullet list of like eight things that were all equally retarded. <laughs> I know it's not PC to say retarded, but I'm not. Yes? Bloggers post their own posts, so they have to submit them, and then... You know, in WordPress, you can set up different stages of admin, right? So I have full admin access. And then you can, you know, make someone an editor or a contributor. I think there's just different levels, and it'll tell you right there, you know, what you're allowing them to do. Um, but, the, but so far, I'm not letting anybody touch this blog because I don't want them to mess it up. Because here's the thing: there's a lot of little specifics that I know that they're not going to do because I'm getting their posts and I'm reading them. Like I sent out a guideline for when you send your posts in to me. All images need to be. 550 pixels or megapixels or bigger for the post. The header has to be at least 600. Okay, I tell them that and I get a 300 wide header. And then I'm like, you know, and then I just send it back. And then it's like four days till I get it back again. So the reason why we have 25 blockers, but we're doing three posts a day is because of things like that. You might not get a post in, you might just send some back. So because it's such a challenge to get them just to send in their posts right and not always spell checking these are bloggers and you know if that's what you're going to have to deal with so when you're dealing especially if you're dealing with a lot you have to kind of make sure that you schedule it where you're getting we get five posts a day pretty much in but three posts a day go up sometimes those good ones i keep them in a folder and i say look if somebody doesn't put one send one in and i'm, I'm short i have extra you have to plan for that otherwise you're not going to have consistent content what can you share us about recruiting these 25 bloggers? Is it a huge campaign? To no. I mean, you know, it, 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 in the case of the Suicide Girls, they have a fan base built in. They have <coughs> seven hundred thousand people on their page. They have. So you tweeted it. So on we, we we sent out in in the actual site. There's a writers group and a bloggers group, and so we did a post there looking for bloggers. We also sent out tweets. Um, there's also a contribute. Uh, yeah, and, and just to show you what I did there, this theme had a built-in contact form. Um, but we don't need people to write us, like, to our email from the site. So I made it a contribute page. And um, so that's pretty much that. And then you just send us the info there. And then, um, you know, but really, like, we did it on Tumblr. We just went into all of our spaces.
spaces and did it. We mentioned it in that week's video blog. Um, I can't remember. 